Today I'm going to set up the MyQ software on my 2018 Model 3. The 2022 holiday update added this new feature, and for those without Homelink, this is a viable replacement. My 2018 came standard with Homelink, however newer Tesla models do not, and it's an after purchase option. Another reason for this video is to see if the MyQ and Homelink can exist together and if there are any issues. This is a LiftMaster 8550 garage door opener, a really nice choice when I had my garage built in June 2020. It offers battery backup and most especially MyQ. And that has been in the Chamberlain group, which includes, of course, Chamberlain, LiftMaster, Craftsman, and Raynor. You can also purchase a MyQ adapter for other brands if necessary. MyQ has been around since 2013, and this wireless technology is embedded in garage door openers and lights and can be added to Wi-Fi networks to control these devices. It allows you to monitor and control your garage door from anywhere in the world using your smartphone. An internet connection is required. I want to show an example of using my Homelink setup. I normally reverse into my garage for ease of parking and charging. However, Homelink's auto open and close feature doesn't work when I back into the garage. And I've tried many times with the settings and it just doesn't work. Here is an example of using Homelink. On the top of the screen, there's a house icon that you can press. Also in the control menu, there's another house icon that I can press and that will bring up the Homelink button or two for the device you want to open or close. Here I have two devices, a garage door and a basement storage door. Here is the setup screen. For my use over the last two years, I have auto open and auto close un checked. But for this test, I will turn on auto open to show you. I'll start at the bottom of my driveway over a hundred feet from the garage. I will back up the driveway all the way and eventually you will see the garage come into view. At the top of the screen you can see that there is a 50 foot measurement until the garage door opens. However, as I back up the driveway, it never decreases, even as I approach a few feet away from the garage. Finally, I have to manually press the Homelink garage button for it to open. Note that Homelink is not aware if a garage door is open or closed. Next, I will install the MyQ app on my backup smartphone. If you were doing this for the first time for a new account, you will enter an email address and a password and any other information that's needed to start the account. I'll type in my email and password and then press sign in. It will accept the login and give you a choice on app activity tracking. I will not allow the app to track activity. Thank you very much. Press continue to move on. It will now go to the main page of the app. In the center, it shows the status of the garage door. In this case, it is open. It even lets you know how long it's been in its current state. Press the button with the three ellipses. This brings up the device settings. You can rename the device. For example, I have it as garage door. You can name it anything you want. There's a notifications and alerts section where you can have the app alert your phone for certain actions. There's a schedule section where you can have MyQ automate when the garage door closes or when the lights turn off and more. The diagnostics page gives you the current health status of the garage door opener. Huh, I didn't realize the garage door has been opened and closed 4,829 times since it's been installed. That works out to five times a day. And finally, there is a diagnostic notification screen. Back on the main screen, press the users button on the bottom. This will allow you to add users or guests to the system. Press the history button. The first category is access. This shows a log of all the openings and closings of the door. 
Press motion to get the motion activity if you have a motion activated camera attached to the system. And then finally, there's account activity. The last button on the bottom right is the Discover button. This keeps you up to date with new MyQ news, products, and services that are available. And for example, we have the MyQ Tesla advertised right here. Press the See How It Works under the new Tesla headline. This gives detailed instructions for what the system does and how to install it. It mentions that you can get a 30-day free trial to test it out. Step 1 goes over compatibility. Most of the garage doors in the last 10 years by Chamberlain, LiftMaster, and Craftsman have MyQ built in. It can be also added to other brands using an adapter for about $30. Step 2 talks about downloading the app and creating an account, which I just showed you previously. Step 3 mentions that you need to have at least 2022.44.25 software update on your Tesla. Going to the touchscreen, press Vehicle Setting, then Locks, click Link Account, and follow the instructions. Step 4 tells you to activate the free trial. What follows describes the benefits of the MyQ system, control from the car's touchscreen, seamless vehicle-to-home connectivity without traditional programming, and the subscription is tied to you and not the car, so multiple cars can use one account. And it also mentions the auto open and close feature. There is a pricing of one year for $45, five years for $179, and 10 years for $299. Of course, these are US prices. I'll go over this in detail during the conclusion. At the bottom of the page is an FAQ section if you have any further questions about the system. Now for the setup. The quickest way to start is to press the garage control button on the top of the screen. Then press link my Q account right here. This brings up the QR code to link the MyQ account on your mobile device. Take your phone and using the camera mode, get the QR code link and then press it. This brings up the MyQ website and just press the sign in button here. Type in your email and password and then press sign in. You will get a welcome screen. Step one is authorize your Tesla to access your MyQ account. Press the authorize button here. Step two is activate the MyQ connected garage plan with a 30 day trial. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and then press the activate trial button here. Success, you can now access your MyQ connected garage in your Tesla. Enjoy. By the way, on the phone, scroll down to the bottom of the screen and press the finish button. And we're now done with installing MyQ. Here you are given the renewal date. My example is February 6th, a month from now. I can then cancel the subscription or let it continue and then be charged a monthly subscription unless I opt for the five year or 10 year plans. After a few seconds, the car screen will now reflect the updated account status and show you the MyQ settings screen. Back to the Tesla screen, it shows the garage door is open. There is a set garage location button here to the right. Pressing this brings up a warning that Homelink already is connected to this location. If I press OK, it will attach my queue to this location as well. It does give a warning that enabling my queue at this location may inhibit auto open and auto close functions. I'll discuss this more when I do the testing. You can always press forget this location if you want to reset the location. Next, I'm going to turn on the auto open when arriving toggle. Let me adjust this to 50 feet for my first test. You may need to decrease or increase this number based on how far your garage is from the street and it depends on your preferences. I'll also press the chime on auto open and auto close so that the car will give me an audible warning when it is doing auto functions, which I find useful. 
You can also close the garage with the button on the bottom of the screen. And that's it for now in the settings. To access the MyQ controls again, you just need to use the main menu and press the home button at the top of this window. Now you will see two sets of controls. The top now has the MyQ buttons and settings, and below that are the home link buttons and settings. Obviously, if you don't have home link, those buttons will not show up. At the top of the screen, there's also another home icon that you can press to bring up the home link in MyQ menus. Press settings to go into the menu I showed you before to make any adjustments. For example, I will press the auto close when leaving button since I want to test both features next. Let's do some testing. I sped up the video on this portion to double speed to keep the episode length within reason. Starting in the garage with the door up, I will reverse out and down the driveway. While doing this the very first time, the auto close did not activate. I'm not sure why, maybe it needs something to do with the calibration. If you have the auto open and close set up for home link, you will have an issue if you have the same option set for MyQ. Simply use one or the other for auto opening. For my tests, I left the home link auto settings to off. I'm down at the bottom of the driveway near the street. The garage door is still showing open. I pressed the button to manually close the door. Then I drove down the street far enough away so that it is basically like a reset. Then I get to the entrance of the driveway and I move up towards the garage. About halfway, roughly 50 feet from the garage, I see the MyQ message pops up. Ignore the beeping sound, that's the ultrasonic sensors warning me on the sides of the bumpers. It then shows 40 feet. 30 feet, 20, 10, 5, and then makes a ding sound, and then it says opens now. Yes, then it starts to open the garage door. I'm about 20 feet from the garage. There you can see it opening through the windshield. It opens all the way, and I pull the car entirely inside the garage. The next test is done with me backing the car up to the driveway, and getting into the garage that way. The next test is done with me backing the car up the driveway to get into the garage. Watching the display, you can see that the MyQ pops up and then shows the distance in feet. I noticed 40 feet, then 30, 20, 10, and then ding. Now it says opens now, and it starts open. Good. It works while in reverse. At this point, I go into the MyQ settings and adjust the auto open distance. I change it from 50 to 80 feet. This is better since my driveway is fairly long. Let's see if there's an improvement. Ever since the first try at doing the auto close that failed, it is now working. Note the message on the screen as I exit the garage and go about 30 feet away. I repeat the same back end that I just performed before this one before I made the distance change from 50 feet to 80 feet. As I go up the driveway, I see that the MyQ message door opens in 50 feet. This is much sooner than the previous time. Exactly what I want. Then it goes 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, ding. Then it says opens now and opening. By the way, notice as I get into the garage that my ultrasonic sensors are still working. Now I will drive straight out of the garage and test the closing. Yes, a few feet away from the garage, it shows a message that the garage door closes in 20 feet. Moving forward down the driveway, it then says 10 feet, 5 feet, closes now, then closing. It starts closing the garage door. 
it does the auto close now. Turning the backup camera on, you can see the garage is closed roughly 30 feet from the garage. Here is one more time with reversing up the driveway and going towards the garage. This view is from the backup camera. Note that the auto close doesn't apply to pulling into the garage, which is fine by me since I usually need the garage door open for one reason or another after arriving home. So auto close is applicable only when leaving the house. This is a little different than when Homelink does the auto close feature. It works both arriving and leaving. My house sits atop a ridge. We're a few hundred feet away and about a hundred feet up from a greenway and creek on the other side of the house. Just to let you know, I got all of these tests done just in time before the rain arrived and continued for most of the weekend. As you can see, I press the MyQ button to close the garage door manually once I'm inside the garage. Here's a view of me using the MyQ app while parked away from the house. I can see that the garage is open for three minutes now. I could use the app or press the MyQ button on the Tesla screen to manually close it. This is something that Homelink can't do since it has to be within the signal distance to work. When I show the app, you can see that it updates the status. The door is currently closing. And now, the door is fully closed. Pressing the home icon on the screen will have the MyQ status also showing the garage door is closed. And this is also something that Homelink does not do. MyQ is free to use through the smartphone app. However, for autos, there is a subscription charge to use the service. And that gets me back to pricing. It is disappointing that it is so expensive. $45 per year, $179 for five years, or $299 for 10 years in the US. Homelink is a $300 option with a one-time purchase and installation fee. But when you compare the two, if you keep the car for 10 years or longer, if you go with the MyQ 10-year plan, it will cost you more. If you tend to keep a car for 3 to 5 years, then MyQ is the better value. It's up to you to determine the best choice for your situation. Since the trial period is 30 days, there's no disadvantage in at least trying it out. I must say that MyQ solved my problem of the auto open and auto close where the home link didn't work in my situation. Whether it's worth it to me for continuing the subscription, I'll have to make a decision later on. Well, that wraps up my MyQ setup and testing. Please let me know what you think of MyQ, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.